Dune is directed by Denis Villeneuve. It's about a young son of a noble family that's tasked to help the settlement on another planet to secure resources that are deemed to be the most valuable in the galaxy. It's packed with this all-star cast, like you got uh, Timothy Chalamet, Josh Brolin, uh, Jason Momoa, um, Rebecca Ferguson, Dave Bautista, and Oscar Isaac. Everybody's in this. Now, this wasn't considered to be, I would say, my most anticipated film of that year. Um, I'm not really just familiar with the story all that much. I've never read the book. Um, I've never watched all of the previous renditions of this story before. But I did see a lot of hype around this IP. There's been lots of talk about um, about the book and about like, the TV show and the film from the 80s and, and I just listened to a lot of the concepts the novel was trying to um, trying to tackle. To me it sounded like a very philosophical story. Um, it was packed with heavy themes um, about society and, and politics. So I, I was intrigued. I've been overwhelmed with films that um, that out of, as of late they haven't really been um, original enough for me to really look forward to and and I've just been I've been aching for for something to kind of just stem across my path so I can like really get invested in you know what I'm saying because you know you don't really get films that are that are too complex like this nowadays and when I heard Denis Villeneuve was directing this I was hyped instantly I loved his work on Sicario and Arrival and just how he crafts such a thorough look on all of the worlds he's given, um, whether it's an urban drama or, um, or, or science fiction. But this movie felt like Denis Villeneuve's true calling card, just from the trailers alone. And I was not disappointed. Holy cow. This film was fantastic. Utterly beautiful from the cinematography to the sound design to Hans Zimmer's score. Mwah! Even the opening shot of the beautiful landscape of, of the sands and, and, the, and the little sparkling, um, what you call them, like the spice that's kind of like floating in the air and stuff. Just amazing. Now, at the time, I did have the pleasure of watching this in a theater because... I had just refused to watch anything of, of this kind of scale on HBO, on HBO Max. I, I just wasn't going to do that. Not to mention, too, I did read uh, Denise op-ed when he published it about how certain movies are meant for the big screen, including, you know, his latest, Dune. So I guess you can say I did want to show, you know, his film that, that respect and I'm so glad I did. If you guys ever consider seeing this movie, I highly implore you guys to see this in some kind of theater, in, in any kind of capacity, because this film isn't just a film. It's an experience. The world is so captivating and it, it's drenched with so much lore and, and meshed with the loud music and, and the immersive wide shots. I mean, you won't get this feeling like this just sitting sitting on the couch, you know, I, I promise you. The story too is actually not difficult to follow through, like at all. Now, some of the heavier themes, you may have to rewatch just to, um, to catch them all, but the plot is not convoluted or difficult at all. Now, one major thing that I do give this film credit for is uh, not burdening us as the audience um, with so much exposition. The visuals do a great job at just showing and inferring all of the important things to follow the story and the micro details of the lore. Um, and it's, it, it just works like clockwork. And <laughs> bravo. Because like I said, I'm, I'm not familiar with this IP at all. So um, I was prepared to be confused and maybe lose track on possibly what was happening in the film. And I'm glad I wasn't. The action too is absolutely epic the way these battle scenes and fight scenes are just composited and framed it's almost too perfect it's almost not fair <laughs> props to the actors who went through the training and and, tra and and worked hard for this so that way we can actually see them really doing the moves and not having the film you know switch cut everywhere which way and stuff now the film does um 
introduce itself as part one. So um, that means we do end on a cliffhanger here. And to be honest, I'm not so sure how I uh, how I feel about that. On one hand, I'm excited to see part two because part one was just so damn good. But on the other hand, I do wish that, you know, part one didn't feel so much like part one. You know what I mean? Like, it literally feels like disc one for the full movie. And we have to, like, wait a couple years down the line to get disc two, if that makes sense. Like, take, you know, say, The Fellowship of the Ring and Infinity War. Those movies were both part ones of their respected um, movie. But those films at least felt like a full course meal. You know what I'm saying? Dune part one sort of felt like, you know, a fire ass appetizer. And I'm just like, okay, that was delicious. Where's my entree? Where's my dessert? Where's my beverage to wash this down? Get what I'm saying? But I do believe this franchise is off to a great start. And seeing as how Warner Brothers did approve for part two of this, um, that makes me very happy. I'm just glad that they're not treating this movie like, you know, how they did the Zack Snyder's movies, you know, when they came out with one, uh, one film and then they just pretty much scrap all the other ones together just because the budget didn't go well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, I'm just so happy that a franchise as delicate and as, as epic as this is not being thrown away to the wayside because the numbers didn't add up. You know what I mean? Um, considering like, you know, we did have a pandemic and stuff, but it ultimately wasn't fair for this movie that was that, uh, to be treated like this. You know what I mean? Because it was supposed to be in theaters. It did go into theaters, but I felt like the potential was kind of capped a little. So seeing as how we have a new merger now and they say, you know, are we going to do a part two and hopefully we get a part three. I, that makes me very excited for this. So, Kudos to them. But I would definitely, most certainly, give this movie um, a 9.5 out of 10. For sure. I think Denis Villeneuve might be one of my favorite directors right now, actually. But he might be the best man working next to Christopher Nolan. I mean, just saying. But all right, you guys, that's my review on Dune. Um, what do you guys think about it? Did you guys enjoy Dune? Were you guys actually interested in going out here to see this movie um i'm probably late to the party because i didn't see the book i didn't read the books or see the you know previous renditions of this but what do you guys think about it did you guys think that uh denis villeneuve is actually one of the best directors working right now why don't you guys let me know in the comments if you like this video hit the like button and if you love this video hit subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace